My friends, today we're gonna push through a setback. I don't have a catchy hook for you here. I, I have not planned this video terribly well. To be honest with you, I'm just looking to make content of value. And maybe, maybe I'll inspire somebody with my example or, or, or maybe I'll just tickle the algorithm by posting every day, who knows. I've just got a lot of things on my mind. I got a marker board directly behind the camera, a lot of thoughts on it. Over on LinkedIn, I'm asking people for help with Amazon Web Services. And I'll probably splice that in here at the end of the video or maybe as a separate video on YouTube as well. Um, but essentially, I got a book in the mail. I got a book from Pact Publishing. That book is about Amazon Web Services machine learning certification. And I was excited to read the book as I go through it. It's well written. I enjoy it. But I ran into a problem that I've had before with AWS, and that is that their help documentation, their directions, they're just inscrutable to me. When I go in and I try to do something with AWS, whatever it is, I just, I try and rig it up and it's just, it's written for nerds of a higher level. I think I joked on LinkedIn that you need an AWS cert to figure out how to get an AWS cert. And my instinct in the past was to hit a roadblock like that and say, you know, you know what? Life's too short. I'm not going to do this. I'm going to go use a platform that's easier to use. I'm going to go get another Ultric certification or Tableau or something that's actually user friendly. And this morning I got up and I was listening to some Akira and I was listening, you know, Jocko came on and I heard good. And I just got motivated that, that I was going to push through the setback, that it wasn't going to beat me. And I think I heard uh, David Goggins as well. Uh, what track was it? Breaking Souls. Right? Nothing wants to face up to anything that is relentless. You folks, you got to pick your battles in life. And this is one that I'm picking. So Goggins talks about the enemy being in front of you. I know that AWS's instructions, it's not a formidable enemy. It's not like the Taliban shooting back at me. Um, you know, AWS does not have a soul. It is a platform, it is software, it is whatever. But it's the, the thing that it represents to me that I need to push past. So I'm gonna push through the setback. I've been reading How to Win Friends and Influence People lately. I'm gonna apply some of those principles and I'm doing that over on LinkedIn by just throwing myself on the mercy of the interwebs and asking for help. That there are people out there that have mastered AWS. There's no reason for me to beat my head against the wall trying to grind through this problem when I can just access the collective wisdom of all of human civilization and ask people that have learned those lessons to teach them to me. And that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna ask for help and then I'm gonna to listen to what people say. I will define the problem as best I can for them and then I'll hope someone in my audience knows how to solve it. There was definitely a time when I would have quit and moved on from this thing. I've decided this morning that this is a certification that I care about. I am in a mode lately with both Alteryx and other platforms that I'm studying citizen data science. I want to understand the various ways that you can do auto machine learning and not learn to code so that the barriers to entry are not there for people. I can teach people to access these amazing tools and this incredible technology that the data industry has built. We can predict things. That's, that's incredible to me. And I want to leverage that down to people that maybe don't or aren't data professionals. And the bottom line is I want to provide value. What I realized this morning was that if I quit, if I let this administrative barrier, this confusing set of instructions beat me. It's not just a detriment to me. 
I can obviously move on to other things. I can, I'll, I'll live a rich and full life never having the AWS machine learning certification. But I'm going to provide value for an audience, for, for other people out there that are struggling to do what I'm doing. If I quit, if I move on to something else, if I let this beat me, I'm not only failing myself, but I'm failing my audience as well. And that realization hit home to me this morning. I also saw, took some motivation from a friend. I saw uh, Odette Memoni. Some of you know Odette. She's a new YouTube contributor. She's doing great things on LinkedIn already. She writes in Hebrew, uh, which I'm very happy for the, the LinkedIn translator, at least. I can't understand what she's saying on YouTube yet. She's told me she's going to do some English videos. I saw her this morning admit that she failed a Microsoft certification. I love that admission because I've had to admit things like that and that is difficult content to create. It's difficult to figure out how to strike that chord. You don't want to sound self-defeating or defeated. You want to come at content creation by saying, I'm moving forward and I've learned lessons from that. And she did that. I really appreciated that. There's not many people out there on LinkedIn admitting that they've messed up or that they've failed. That takes some real bravery. And I took motivation from that. So I'm not giving up. I am going to link everyone in the LinkedIn post and I'm gonna link everyone here that I can. But I'm taking my motivation from Mr. Goggins today. We're breaking souls. Nothing wants to stand in front of something that is relentless. And I'm just going to be relentless with this problem. So, people that know AWS, I will link my LinkedIn post below. I may link the showing you the problem that I'm running into. If you're interested and if you know anything about AWS, you can contribute anything to the problem. Keep watching. I'll show you what I'm running into. If you can shed any light on how to solve this and how to get past it, I'm all ears. Semper Fidelis, and I'll talk to you later. Okay, data smart people, AWS smart people, here is my problem. Here's the page in the book. All you will need for this chapter is an AWS account and the AWS CLI or command line interface configured. So I went to that link. I downloaded the command line interface and now configuration, this is the problem. Here we have command line interface, got it. Come on, focus, there we go. And here we have uh, getting started and then going to setup, setting it up. I uh, authenticated with short-term credentials because that seemed like the best option. Please tell me if that's wrong. So with short-term credentials, I put in this access key ID, secret access key, all examples, so I'm not giving away the, the state secrets here. Session token, put all of that in. You can see that all right here. This is actually the second time I've put it in. And then you can see once I start trying to go on to the commands, it says the access key ID I provided does not exist. This is actually... I'm a little late posting this because this is actually like the second or third roadblock. I got past a couple into this. Um, managed to find the GitHub. Yeah, when I start trying to look for these things, it's not coming up because it says the access key ID I provided is not adequate. So obviously these short-term credentials, not getting the job done. I have to do something else. However, I've clicked through God knows how many other tabs trying to figure this out. So, hey, AWS smart. There's me. That was my hand. But AWS smart people, give me a hand here. Uh, let me know what am I doing wrong. And I'm, I'm throwing myself on the, uh, the mercy of the people of the Internet. Give me a hook up here. Semper Fidelis, and I'll talk to you later.